People be out here stealing sweatshirts. You need to be out here stealing cologne. Girl, what are you waiting on? Follow me on Instagram, like, comment, subscribe, and click that bell notification. Hey, 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 I am back. And today we're gonna to talk about fragrance again. For those of you who are new here, my name is Tiffany and I'm a full-time mental health and substance abuse therapist bringing you food, lifestyle, and mental health content by way of deep dives. So let's go ahead and dig into these fragrances. So we're gonna talk about fragrances in a little bit of a different way. So my husband got some colognes that I really, really love. And when I say really love, I mean like, when he ain't looking, I be wanting to like spray him on myself and use them for myself. Okay, so this is not for the girls. Y'all already know this is not for the girls who like gourmand scents. I'm not a gourmand girl. Like, I don't like smelling like food. I don't like the vanillas. Usually, I don't like the coffee, the candy. I don't like, I don't like that sweet smell of stuff. That's just me though. So for our men's fragrances, these are the ones that I really would like to steal from my husband slash like just go ahead and add to my collection because I really like it. So first we are going to start with the Versace scent. So this is Versace Man. I was using my husband's cologne so much that he just went ahead and bought me one. He bought me one. He bought me the little, the little baby version that's like this big, but he bought me one. Now, let me look at the notes for this. This is an aromatic um, fragrance. It's a very clean, fresh, light, airy spring summer scent, in my opinion. The top notes are white lemon, rosewood, carambola, whatever that is. Middle note, tarragon, cedar leaves, clary sage. The base is musk, amber, and sycamore wood. This scent is something that I would, of course, wear in the daytime. I would say that you can wear it in the wintertime too, but again, it's more of a daytime scent. I know some people don't like to limit their scents based off what season it is. They just want to, you know, have the freedom to wear their scent whenever they choose. But for women's scents, that's very similar to this male scent is this Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I know that some of the girls don't like Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, but I have always been a fan of it. I've actually had this 3.4 ounce bottle forever, but this um, women's scent is very similar to that male scent. So... If you and your boo are going out together and he wears this Versace man, you could go ahead and wear your Dolce & Gabbana light blue and then you all will complement each other with your scents. Like, imagine sitting in the car with each other and your scents just complement one another. Like, that is a whole vibe, okay? A whole vibe. Next up for the cologne that I want to steal from my husband is this Gucci Guilty Poor Home. Now, it has a... Ooh, Kind of magnetic. I don't know. I thought it was magnetic, but she was up there a little tight. This is a male scent. Okay, this is a male scent, but it's so good. This is the scent where when you hug a man and you get a whiff of his neck, you like. <laughs> like that's that's this right here. This is so good. My husband has the three ounce bottle. It's so good, y'all. So this fragrance family is an aromatic. The top note is lavender and lemon. Middle note, orange flower, base, cedarwood, and patchouli. Like I said before in my other video, I am a cedarwood girl when it comes to like candles and things like that. And I love patchouli. I have some patchouli um, incense. Oh, just smells so good. This is definitely a late afternoon evening scent like... This borders on like if I'm going to, like it doesn't have to be a fancy steakhouse, but this is like a little bit more of an upscale date night. This smells so good. Again, it's clean yet masculine at the same time. It feels musky, but I think that's because of the earth notes from the cedarwood and the patchouli. The perfume that I would say complements this, even though I would still wear this as a woman, is the Chance Chanel. I have had this Chance Chanel for a while. This is the 1.2 ounce bottle. 
And this, remember you pat, you don't rub, okay? This, yeah, it's so similar. This also smells kind of masculine, but yet like a strong woman. Like you don't play with her, okay? It smells so good. Very similar to your um, Gucci Guilty. So if you and your man are going out and you want to smell similar, pair your Chant Chanel with the Gucci Guilty. I know um, Chanel fragrances have been getting a lot of flack online, especially Chanel, what is it, like number five or something like that. People have saying that it stinks. But my Chant Chanel, she smells good. Like I have had this for a while and I do save her because like, this is that girl, like you really are going to hug someone and be like, dang girl, what you got on? Like that is different, I've never smelled that before. Like that's this Chant Chanel. Now this one, this YSL Lay Home Intense. I put this on my wrist yesterday. I don't know, baby, I might really have to buy this for myself. I might get like the little bottle for myself. I bought my husband this um, two ounce bottle for Christmas. I bought him the two ounce because I had purchased this scent unscented, sight unseen. Like I purchased it online and I didn't know if he was gonna like it. I didn't know if I was gonna like it. So I was like, let me just go with the middle ground and buy the two ounce. Now, let me give you a little tip. If you are going to buy your husband a cologne and you don't know if he's going to like it, go through his current cologne collection. Look at what he has, review the um, notes that's in it, go on the internet, type in the notes, and then similar colognes and fragrances will come up. And that, that will help you determine if he's probably going to like it. So that's what I did with this. And come to find out he already had this, but he didn't have it in the intense version. So this was perfect. This intense one is so good. So this is by YSL. Oh my God, this smells so good. Ah, uh, it smells so good. Okay, so I put this on my wrist yesterday and he was like, that smells good. Like, do not sleep on the men's colognes, girls. Do not sleep on the men's colognes. Go through your husband, your booze collection and see what you wanna wear that day. People be out here stealing sweatshirts. You need to be out here stealing cologne. Hmm. Uh, now the women's fragrance that I own that I would say is kind of similar because this gives you like old money. So the fragrance family is earthy and woody. The top note is bergamot, citron zest, pepper. The middle note is divana, orange blossom, violet leaves, and basil. And then the base note is woody notes, amber grease, and then tonka bean. The one that I would say is similar that I own in my collection is the KKW Amber Perfume. Now, I know I gave her a hard time the last time I talked about this perfume. I said she kind of gives grandma, but it's not that she gives grandma. She gives mature and come to find out it's because she has a rose note in her. Um, this smells like old money. Like, this is the girl that's not to be played with. This is old seduction. Like, this is the this is the grown lady who goes to, to the rich bar where the rich cars be. She goes to the bar and she has a dirty martini by herself. And she is comfortable sitting at the bar by herself. Like, and when a man comes up, he's like, can I purchase you a drink? She says, make that too. <laughs> that's this girl. That's Amber. So... This is so similar. Yes, I would wear these together. They smell so good. So when my husband wears this, I could definitely wear this. And when we sit in the car basking in our aroma, like these will go together so well. And you could tell that both of these are going to be warm scents because of the brown color in the liquid. Now this, I'm not even going to touch this. Bae, if you're watching this, I'm not going to touch this. I'm not going to touch your time for it. So this is Tom Ford Black Orchid. It is 50 milliliters, which is 1.7 ounces. Tom Ford ain't cheap, girl, okay? I believe the three or 3.4 ounce bottle is $190. This smells so good, y'all. He said that he wore this on our wedding day. And like, Tom Ford is a wedding day scent, okay? 
Oh, this smells so good. Okay, so let me read you the notes. So it's actually in the floral family. The scent type is warm floral. The notes are black orchid, black truffle, patchouli, bergamot, black plum, and then noir gourmand or cord. Listen, it say gourmand, but it say noir, so that mean it's black. So that mean it's probably like a dark gourmand, whatever that is, girl. But this smells so freaking good. Now, when I looked up this scent, it can actually be unisex. So you don't have to feel like you're wearing a man's fragrance when you wear this. Like, this is so good. I probably am, I probably am just gonna go ahead and buy this for myself. But I feel like if I buy it for myself, then I'm gonna have to re-up for my husband as well. Cause this is sounding a little light. This is sounding a little light. Um, this is that girl. Now, when I did my research um, to find out what female fragrances are similar to this, um, Mugler's Angel came up. And what's funny is my mom has been an Angel Dan for years and I remember years ago when I smelled Angel I didn't like it. If you are unfamiliar Mugler also makes my favorite perfume which is Alien. So apparently these um, these notes are very similar to Angel so if you have Mugler's Angel then you're probably going to like the Tom Ford as well. So go ahead and pair those two together or just straight up wear this. And look at the bottle it's so sleek and sexy and then they have um I think a velvet or purple orchid. Then they have one in a gold bottle. They have the same one in the gold bottle that is straight up parfum. This is amazing. Now, last but certainly not least is this Bad Boy by Carolina Herrera. I'm gonna say Herrera because she is, um, I think from Spain. Apparently, let me just say Herrera because it's with an H. It's H-E-R-R-E-R-A, okay? But when you pronounce it um, in Spanish, it's probably Herrera. So apparently she is the Coco Chanel of Spain. Look at this bottle. This bottle is so cute. So I bought my husband this for his birthday, um, and I bought him the 3.4 um, ounce because I loved it. And I was like, I know he gonna love it. Look at this bottle. So you press it up top here and then it comes out through here. So the fragrance family is aromatic woody. The top note is grapefruit and hint, middle black pepper, geranium, and then the base is leather and velveteer. Now I know that Tom Ford has a leather fragrance as well. So if you like that Tom Ford, I think it's Oud Leather or something like that, then you might like this um, bad boy as well. This smells so good. Now this is masculine, like, I want my husband to wear this every day. This smells so good. This, this, this cologne got BDE. If you know what BDE is, do you know what BDE is? This cologne got BDE. Oh, it smells so good. Like, you know when you buy the Bath and Body Works, um, what's that candle called that everybody love? Mahogany Teakwood. Baby, if I were to compare the feeling, now I'm not necessarily saying the sense, but the feeling that you get from scents that would be mahogany teakwood baby mahogany teakwood smell like a man who know how to do everything he paid the bills plus he got extra extra money left over he he booked vacations he paid for the vacations he hang pictures around the house that's mahogany teakwood that's this bad boy Oh, it smells so good. Now, if I were to compare it to one of my perfumes, I'm going to have to go with my Alien. My Alien perfume, she is that girl. She is, she's that girl. Now, if I were to compare Alien to a woman, this woman, she be talking ish. And sometimes people like her and sometimes people don't like her. But... The people who know how to deal with her, they know how to deal with her. She's that girl. She's intimidating. So that's the only reason why people don't like her, because she is intimidating. 
that's a lamb and these two together baby this is a power couple this is a strong black sexy couple that's that's what i got for these two okay that is all that i have for this video if your husband does not have these colognes then treat him slash yourself to those colognes so you can steal them and then if you like some of those fragrances that i talked about feel free to purchase them i will link as many as i can down below thank you for watching this video and i'll catch you in the next one bye